So if you're watching this video, you're either in the field of cybersecurity currently or you're pursuing a career in the field of cybersecurity. And the Security Plus and the CYSA Plus are the awesome certifications to really get your foot in the door and build that foundation. So maybe you currently hold the Security Plus and you're wondering if the CYSA Plus is the right certification for you to help you move up and um, help you really level up in your career. Or also, maybe you have a little bit of experience in the field of cybersecurity and you're looking to, to watch this video to see if you can really skip that uh, Security Plus and go right into the CUSA Plus. Um, I have all the answers for you today in this video, so stick with me. Um, we'll get right into it. Hey, so if you're new to my channel, I'm Colin Kelly. I am a consultant in the field of cybersecurity and I hold both the CUSA Plus and the Security Plus. So right off the bat, I'm just going to answer the main question to this video. And I really do think that you should have both the CYSA Plus and this um, Security Plus. And that is why I hold both as well. And so in the next few minutes of this video, I'm just going to really give my reasoning on, on why I think you should have both of these certification exams. Starters, let's give a little bit of background information on these two certifications. They're both offered by CompTIA, and they're both widely uh, accepted within the industry as some uh, great resume builders, and they also set some foundational skills for you um, to build a cybersecurity career. So both of these exams, they, neither one of them have a prerequisite um, other than just the recommended uh, years in the industry by CompTIA. But there's no hard prerequisite, so this is maybe why a lot of you are visiting this video. You're wondering, um, should I actually jump right into the COSA Plus? Should I take the Security Plus? Or should I even go to more of the fundamental CompTIA exams like the A Plus or the Network Plus? I have a video on that one. I can actually link that in the cards right up here. So let's start off with the Security Plus. The Security Plus is the more basic, fundamental version of the two exams. It's like the baby brother to the COSA Plus is kind of what I say a lot. Um, it, but it is more widely known, widely accepted, and if it is on your resume, um, there is a better chance that more recruiters will actually know this exam. The Security Plus offers a DoD certification as well as just wide industry recogni recognition, like I said before. So I kind of hinted at this before, but the Security Plus is a very basic ex exam and certification. It will really help you get your foot in the door, but if maybe you're looking for more of a higher level um, security um, job in the field, this might not be the exam for you to jump right into. And I really, I think it's very safe for me to say that this exam is a mile wide and an inch deep. I found that when I was studying for the exam, um, there were just, we would just go from topic to topic to topic and not really get too deep into each topic. But I do feel that now where I'm at, Looking back at it, it was a great it was a great step for me in my foundational process because I was able to be introduced to all these different um, these different topics that now when I call upon that knowledge, it makes a lot more sense to me having that background. So this scope could actually be a good thing or a bad thing to you, uh, just really depending on where your experience is at. If you do have a lot of experience in the field, some of the topics in this actually might throw you for a loop because there could be questions on the exam that could really contradict the way that you do things, the way that you've been taught to do things over the years in the field that you've been in. Um, so that is just one thing to consider. The, the, this is actually a common trend with the CompTIA exams. They kind of have their set way of doing things. And I actually learned this when I was doing the COSA Plus is they have their set way of doing things and you kind of have to adapt to that while you're taking the exam. Even if the way that you do it uh, might be correct, you kind of have to, to have to adapt to that at least while you're studying and taking the exam. So the Security Plus really touches on a wide array of topics and actually there is some overlap with the CYSA. So this is another reason why I suggest that you get both of these exams because it's not going to hurt you at all taking the Security Plus. Um, you're going to be familiar with a lot of these topics that they're going to go into more depth on on the CUSA Plus. Okay, let's move on to the CUSA Plus. So the CUSA Plus is the big brother to the Security Plus, and it is at the point in the CompTIA exam schedules where it kind of branches off into the immediate intermediate level, and it switches. Or your two options are the Pen Test Plus or the CUSA Plus, and so you either go on the red team or the blue team side. Really, this is this is the point where you make that decision up. So the CYSA Plus is really the next step up from the Security Plus if you're looking to, to maintain your on the blue team side of things in the cybersecurity field. And it is really interesting exam actually. I took it last year and it has a totally different feel and delivery than the Security Plus. It's kind of, a, it's kind of nice um, how it really 
hones in on some specific topics, some specific domains, and actually goes into some great detail. So you really get some hands-on uh, information on these different domains, and you feel like you can actually take these skills and apply them in the real world. And that, at this point in the intermediate exam uh, level, you, you really need to be obtaining the hands-on skills rather than just boosting your resume, because you're paying this money to actually improve um, the, your daily operations in your job. So even the delivery of the questions is in just a lot more practical of a manner. So you're going to be presented with some more situation-based questions, um, maybe some log-based questions, and you're going to have to really interpret that and then pull out um, all of your findings from that and then provide the best answer or the best solution to this exact situation. So you're going to become familiar with reading uh, network logs, for example, specific tool logs, and then they even get into some, uh, some vendor-specific stuff. So in my exam preparation, I was actually introduced to some Splunk stuff, which is pretty cool. So unlike the Security Plus, you're actually kind of able to take these, take these skills and, and different topic areas that you learned in this exam, and you can actually apply them to the real world and your job as a cybersecurity analyst. So the CYSA Plus just really feels a lot more hands-on than the Security Plus. It's about as hands-on as a, uh, quote, pen and paper exam could be. Um, the, I, I'm kind of excluding the simulation questions in this statement, um, but it, the questions themselves do feel like they're up to some more interpretation than just do, like a true and false or uh, just knowing vocabulary like oh, that would be on the Security Plus. So let's talk about these two exams and actually how they apply to on-the-job skills because I think that this is the most important uh, the most important aspect and takeaway from this video. So I think you might have gotten the idea for, by now, but in my opinion, the clear winner is the CYSA+. But by me saying this, I do not think that you should completely overlook the Security+. Plus. I still think that you should get the Security+, Plus in preparation for the CYSA+. Plus. You can really shave off a lot of your study time, and the overlapping of the material really helps you hone in on these specific topics. So in my opinion, the clear winner in this situation is the CYSA+. Plus. This provides you with the most real-world skills that you can apply to your daily work, but I'm not telling you to completely overlook the Security+. Plus. And so I think that the Security Plus actually could be a very helpful study tool for the CYSA+. Plus. Some of the material is actually the same, and it really plugs in a lot of those holes that you might have that you might not even realize that you have uh, going into the CYSA+. Plus. Um, I actually do know some people who took the CYSA+, Plus, and I've heard from some people on my YouTube channel um, and on Reddit about the CYSA+, Plus, that they might have been caught off guard by some of the topics that um, they were asked on the exam, and then I look at which topics they were, and they were actually some of the ones that were on the Security Plus, and then I think about it, and I realize I had similar questions to that, and I actually pulled the information I knew from the Security Plus and actually answered those questions correctly. And I think that this is honestly why I did so well in the CYSA Plus exam in my final score. Now, let's go into a little bit more detail about why the, the combination of both the Security Plus and the CYSA Plus is such a powerful combination, uh, especially when you're getting into the field. So I mentioned this earlier, but the Security Plus is really great for just filling in any of the gaps that you don't even know that you have, but um, it just provides you with the solid foundation that when you go and you have this on your resume and you apply for a job, anyone, any recruiter or an interviewer that is seeing this on your resume, they have a very good idea of where you stand in a baseline of your knowledge. And then you kind of, um, I say this a lot of the time when I'm reviewing people's resumes, but you kind of build, you have this, you establish this baseline of your knowledge and then you kind of use your projects, use your classwork, use any other certifications to kind of branch out um, from that point. And that, that really gives the interviewer or the recruiter a great idea where you stand with your knowledge level. So there are going to be some situations where you want to skip the Security Plus and go right into the CYSA Plus. Um, so I would recommend skipping the Security Plus and going right into the CYSA Plus if you have uh, two to four years experience in the field or if you're just on a really rapid path where you are doing some, a lot of outside learning, um, you're doing some different projects and you feel that you do have that solid foundation. Uh, maybe you're coming from another IT field. I could definitely understand you going right into the Security Plus from that point. But in most situations and most of my viewers, I would say just to get both of these certifications. It will serve you best in the long run. In addition to this, 
The CUSA Plus is getting more and more recognition as time goes on, especially now that they're coming out with their second version of the exam in April of 2020. Um, but this, having the Security Plus on your resume is something that really that, that recruiters will pick up on just because it is very common. Um, it's definitely something that someone who's not a technical recruiter would, would just look for, maybe um, drop certain applications just because they didn't have this if they weren't. Um, and, and hopefully that you guys are not applying for jobs like this, but in, in weird circumstances, that may be the case. Um, so that might be one consideration more why you want the Security Plus on your uh, resume. So that's gonna wrap up my video. Um, if you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel. I have both videos on my initial reactions to taking the Security Plus exam and the CUSA Plus exam. So hopefully you can, if you're aiming for one of those exams, you can check out those videos and get started on that. Thanks for checking out my channel, bye.